refurbished the shower with a $40 kit. Let me tell you how we did it. Tested out two products from Dwill and from Rust-Oleum. Full disclosure, Dwill did send me their kit. They are both two-part paint systems. Wow paint systems, meaning you've got a hardener or an activator and then the base. So with the Rust-Oleum, that's all you get. Whereas the Dwill, they actually loaded it up. You get the, of course, the base, drop the hardener. You get some sandpaper, you know, a little foam roller, some tape, a brush, and some OJ Simpson gloves. Even though the Dwill comes with everything, you will see me using a larger roller, and that's just because, well, I had to get one for the Rust-Oleum anyway, and then I just ended up using it for the larger shower itself. Now, the prices are always changing. Right now, they are pretty comparable to each other, but I would almost consider that a mute point based on the fact that you are going to be spending a lot more in time and effort than on the product itself. Now, the two main reasons why I actually would suggest and did the rest of my shower with the Dwill is because the Rust-Oleum was super thin. Like, it was almost running water type thin. I, I checked the ratios numerous times, I read the instructions numerous times, and I did it correctly, and it really was super thin, so much so that this side right here with the Rust-Oleum had three coats of paint versus the Dwill only had two right here. Now let's dive into this just for a second. If you are wanting to use this with a sprayer, well, it's already pre-thinned for you and you're set. So you might be looking for that in the paint and there you go. Versus a majority of us, which I would say is most of us DIYers, we're going to be pulling out the brush and roller, and uh, the Dwill's got a great consistency. And the number two reason, which really is a pretty big reason here, is the actual scent, or the VOCs, yeah. the smell. This is a lot stronger than that little squeeze tube. I'm not quite sure what's in here. It does say flammable, so I'm assuming this is not a water-based type paint. I don't know what was even in this hardener with the Dwill, but I couldn't even tell a difference adding that into the paint. Uh, there still is a paint smell with it. it. It's an acrylic paint. You will still want some ventilation or the fans on with this, but I can't imagine doing this in the house and staying in there or not having larger fans pulling all that air out. Now diving into the actual application of this, and I even took out my shower doors and even the frame and everything because I wanted to get all of that, you know, gunk, grease, lime, everything out that I could and really get a nice new fresh start with this. Not everybody needs to do that. Just make sure it's all taped up and you'll be great. And applying the hardener to the paint is as simple as squeezing and just giving it a good stir. They do include a fine grit sandpaper, but you only need to use that if what you are going to be painting is a very smooth or glazed surface like glass or a, you know, a marble. You will for sure want to wipe it down very well. I even used a little Scotch-Brite pad and just cleaned the surface the best I could. Prior to laying it down, you don't want to have any powdery dust, dirt, or really anything on the substrate prior to painting. I would highly suggest pulling out that little paintbrush that they do give you because that worked great for those corners and for the hard to reach spots that the roller does not. They do say once you add the hardener, you should do it or use it all up within 12 hours. Now, that wasn't a problem even applying two coats, so just Keep note, it's not one that you're gonna be able to put the lid back on and come back the next day and reuse. This kit is really almost for any surface. They do say that it is for ceramic tiles, wood, glass, just regular ceramic, acrylic, and marble. Now, most inserts like mine, it is either a straight acrylic or an acrylic slash fiberglass, which I think the bigger ones like this when with the walls included, it's a fiberglass combo. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm almost guaranteed the surface is acrylic, so uh, no issues using this kit for this insert. 
Depending on what color your existing shower or tub is will depend on how many coats you need. I, this was a whitish, okay, it might have had a beautiful yellow tint to it. Uh, regardless, I did put two coats on it and that was needed. After the first coat, I, you can definitely tell some missed spots or some lighter areas that were missed. So two coats, got it perfectly coated. One of the awesome things is that this is a water-based acrylic paint. And so then if you do need to thin it out, or let's say you did your first couple coats, you need to wait a couple hours to then go back, then just add some water to thin it out and you are great. The dimensions of my shower are three feet by six feet and then about six feet high. I could sparingly have gotten away with one kit, but I did order two and I did open up that second kit just so then I can get that second coat on there very well. If you're within the same size as me, I would suggest getting two kits just to make sure you're covered. I've done some scratch tests on it. And as far as the scratch durability, it's looking to be pretty good. Allow the painted area to dry 48 hours before getting it wet and wait seven days before using the painted area normally. Um, I'm not quite sure what the difference between getting it wet and then using normally. So whether you can't really step in it or sit in it until it's fully cured or the wetness, because I mean, it's a shower. So as soon as I can get it wet, wouldn't that be good enough? Now the Rust-Oleum actually only says it takes three days to dry. So it might just be because <laughs> the coats are so freaking thin, it can dry within an hour. Getting it all put back together is really as simple as taking it off. Putting the frame back in, the doors back on. Yes, I got new bumpers and new rollers for those doors. And this is almost like a freaking brand new shower. I'm stoked to use it. I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.